Hi everyone, it's Lloyd from Mass Optimizer. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how we can search for powerful expired Twitter accounts using Scrapebox. So once you have Scrapebox installed um, and licensed and activated, uh, all you really need to do is type in site colon twitter.com, click in the keywords um, input box, um, and then go and find your uh, keyword list. I have um, I have shared the keyword list in the uh, Twitter Moment software Skype group, but I'll go and get uh, another one. Um, just bear with me. I should have actually should have actually had this ready, shouldn't I? So. So as you can see in this keyword list, these nearly 52,000 keywords. Simply right click. When you open up uh, your keyword list, um, it will probably be at the top here. So all you, all you really need to do is click on the column name A, right click, copy, go back to the scrape box, uh, click in the keywords input box, right click and select paste. As you can see, it's added in um, 102,000. So then all you really need to do is, um, if you're using proxies, um, select your proxies, you can load it from file. Uh, go and choose your um, the text file where your proxies are stored. I'm just using 10 uh, storm proxies for this at the moment. So, um, side colon, twitter.com, keywords, proxies, start harvesting. I then like to um, select the proxies I'm going to use again. So I've got my proxies in a storm proxy folder. As you can see, I've got up to 80, but for this, I'm going to be using 10. Um, these are the uh, search engines that I've noticed that we get the uh, the most results from. And click on start. As you can see, uh, the average URLs per second um, it will fluctuate, um, but you can get um, quite a lot um, in, in a short space of time. What I've found is the more proxies that you have, the more results that you get and quicker as well. So I'm going to, I'll let this run. We'll let this run to around about 50,000. And then I'll show you um, the trim and remove uh, process that I go through. And then from there, um, I'll show you how quickly we can then start searching um, each name to see whether the Twitter account is actually available or not. So give this a few more seconds and we'll be on 50,000. It's getting there. What I tend to do is I, uh, I load up 80 proxies, set in uh, my keyword list um, and let this run for a couple of hours. Um, and you'll be surprised how many, um, how many accounts that uh, straight box does find for you. The majority of the accounts will not be available, or it's simply a numbers game. Um, the more accounts you've got to check, um, the possibility of the better results. As you can see, the average URLs has dropped uh, below 500 now. So that's okay, we've got 50,000 now. What we need to do is then click on stop. You'll see the bottom right hand corner, uh, your active threads closing. Once all active threads are closing, it will open up uh, another dialog box. We simply just close the next dialog box down. So this is the one we close. Click close again. 
and as you can see, we're left with uh, 50,573 um, URLs. So what we do is we click on remove filter and then remove duplicate URLs. So you drop down to 17,000 already. And then what we do is we remove URLs not containing. So we obviously want twitter.com to be in our URL. Click OK. So we're down to 16,333. And then what you want to do is remove URLs less than 24 characters. 24 characters is um, we are unable to uh, create uh, or recreate or re-register expired Twitter accounts with only four characters in the username. So that's why the character limit is 24. Click OK. So we trimmed off a few more. And then what we do next is we go to export URLs as Excel file. Go to our Twitter account creator, search results, scrape box, that's the 9th of April today. Click save, minimize scrape box, go to the account creator, open up search results. Date modified, straight box and 9th of the 4th, 2020. What we then do is remove the top row and then highlight column A, click data, text the columns, delimited, click next, remove the tick from the tab, click in other type in a forward slash and then you'll see the display change click next click finish and then what we have we have all the account names that scrape box has just found and it's as simple as that what I then do is do a remove duplicates click OK so 5,600 duplicates and um, values were removed, so we're left with 10,604. Click OK. File. Save. Save your file. 